All right, YouTube, so we're back. Of course, talking about some more Jeff Grubbs. This is, I guess, a Jeff Grubb dedicated channel now. Uh, we also talked about his recent live stream where he talked about upcoming PlayStation events, the state of play that just happened, of course, and a later PlayStation showcase. And in a recent live stream that he did, he talked again about that upcoming PlayStation showcase. Now, and obviously, two days ago, we had the state of play, which we didn't even make a video about yesterday because there was just really nothing to talk about from it. Like, the only real redeeming factors were Capcom, really. Like, them showing off Kami for Street Fighter VI and the internet's losing their mind. And, of course, another look at Resident Evil 4 Remake. And this was one that people were really expecting to be there. But I think a lot of people were assuming they were going to reveal the demo, which they technically did. But they all they said was a special demo coming soon. So we don't know exactly when that's going to be. And it's kind of weird because the game is less than a month from release at this point. I'm not sure how often or how close, rather, the Capcom drops their demos to the games. But I've played some of the demos in the past. There's actually a few on the channel where I played like, the Resident Evil 7 demo and the Resident Evil 2 one-shot demo. I don't remember when those came out versus the actual release dates. But uh, hopefully it's very soon. Because actually, I kind of want to download the demo and check it out. Because I probably am going to pick up Resident Evil 4 Remake. Even though I'm kind of a bitch when it comes to horror games. But the thing is, we knew going into that state of play that it probably wasn't going to have any big reveals. Now, we talked about it, we discussed it, we are hopeful that there would be something. But Jeff Grubb did say with that initial podcast we discussed, that it was going to be like a low-key event. And they were saving the big shit for the later PlayStation Showcase, which we're talking about today. And on this recent episode of the Game S Podcast, Jeff Grubb talks about that upcoming PlayStation Showcase around the 32-minute mark. He also reiterates that the state of play that just happened was never going to be anything major. They're saving it all for that upcoming PlayStation Showcase that's going to happen sometime before E3. So I'm just going to quickly read over a transcript of what he says in the video. It says, Sony itself is saving its own actual good stuff for something else, which is what's happening here. They're saving their good stuff for the PlayStation Showcase that's going to happen before E3. It was supposed to happen last fall, but they kept pushing it back because the developers weren't ready. Those developers are ready. They should have a massive show that should set up the second phase of the PS5. So some of this is things we've heard him talk about before. That there was supposed to be a PlayStation Showcase fall of last year, but it got put on hold because developers weren't ready. And I'm kind of curious if... Who those developers are. I wonder if he has the information, if he'd ever divulged that information. Like, which devs weren't prepared for a PlayStation Showcase, so it got pushed back. Uh, but they also the idea that this PlayStation Showcase that's coming up towards the summer is supposed to set up the second phase of the PS5. I assume that means, like, talking about, like, big games and exclusives, right? Because I think we don't have a whole lot of those. I know towards the end of 2022, we only had, like, a handful of straight-up actual PS5 exclusive games, right? So presumably that's what he means by setting up the second phase of the PS5, because there's obviously a bunch of exclusives coming out this year. Uh, you know who they are. I've, I've read them off in the last couple of videos. I don't need to fucking keep repeating it. it. It's hard to talk about this without, like, repeat myself, like, naming off the same list of games. We're talking about the same subjects. We've talked about them in the last couple of videos. But obviously, if there's a massive PlayStation showcase coming up that's supposed to set up the future of the PS5, like, there's obviously potential for either Final Fantasy 16 or Rebirth to be there, or the 9 Remake, or Final Fantasy Tactics Remaster. Now, I'm obviously excited for that. I don't know how massive overall that would be. Compared to like a 9 remake or, you know, the rest of the Final Fantasy games. Now, what's the likelihood of any of these games appearing at this PlayStation Showcase? Well, it comes down to a few things. For one, when exactly is the event happening? We know it's supposed to happen towards the summer before E3. E3 is happening this year from June 13th to June 16th. So, that gives us two big gaming events that are relatively close together. But the thing is, this year, Xbox, Nintendo, and Sony aren't going to be a part of E3 this year. So, I don't know if they'd want to show off that have any like major, major reveals. Like, what's going to be left for E3 if those three, like the big platforms aren't even a part of E3. Like, what's going to be shown here at all? Other than, like, the major, like, third-party games that are coming to, like, every platform and maybe, like, indie games and stuff like that, there's still an audience and things. There's still going to be games shown, but it's just, like, with the PlayStation Showcase happening near E3, and also Xbox has a showcase happening in the summer around E3 as well, it's, like, they're obviously going to shave, like, the big reveals for their own showcases. And the point of bringing this up is that I don't know if they're going to show anything major at E3 at all, and unless there's another gaming event happening before the summer or there's another state of play before the summer... If they're going to show anything at all in the next several months for Final Fantasy 16 or Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, it kind of has to be at this PlayStation Showcase. Especially if it's a PlayStation Showcase that's gearing up to set up like the future and the second phase of the PS5, right? Like, what games are coming out? Those games. <laughs> if we're talking about Rebirth specifically here, I believe we did talk about this in a recent video. I definitely talked about it on Twitter as well. That like the time frame for Rebirth is almost perfect to what it was with Remake, right? Like, Remake got a big showcase at E3. 2019 and released you know was supposed to be march and got delayed to april but it released in less than a year of marketing right so if they were to reveal rebirth again a second trailer at you know this playstation showcase sometime around the summer and it would still release within a relatively similar time frame to remake like the latest that rebirth can drop right now barring any delays is march 2024 which is the exact fucking initial month the remake was supposed to come out it was supposed to drop march 3rd 2020 
And look, I know we talked about, you know, Rebirth being at other events in the past and it being a possibility never, like, guaranteeing anything, right? Just like, hey, it's a, you know, decent odds. I think now more than ever, like, it, it almost kind of has to be, right? Because by the time that this showcase rolls around, it'll be summer. And, like, the earliest that Rebirth can drop, it'll be, like, half a year. It'll be, like, six months. And they have to start fucking marketing this game at some point. Not to mention that, obviously, the showcase is happening in the summer, so it'll be really close to, like, the live stream we got last year for Final Fantasy VII, right? Where Rebirth was shown off June 16th. So it'd be close to, like, a year from reveal, or at least that little teaser we got and stuff. So it's like, they just gotta start showing something. We gotta get a second trailer at some point. They gotta start doing interviews and discussing and talking about the game and aspects of the story, if or whatever the case, right? Like, they gotta start talking about new gameplay elements. We gotta start talking about Rebirth eventually. Now, can we get burned again? Absolutely, my dudes. It's Square Enix. Uh, they're really bad about this shit of just not talking about or showing games, right? We've been talking about this shit for the last couple years now. Uh, I just if they're not gonna do it, if they're not gonna show rebirth here like I don't know where you do it with a with a this winter release date right anything past the summer it's like it feels like it's too late like gotta start marketing so me personally we're, we're starting to get the hype train going a bit right we're always reserved unless there's confirmation of particular games at events we're always you know expecting the worst hoping for the best right and I'm personally just very very excited to get a full blown trailer for rebirth because like that teaser that we got in the summer of 2022. We, that thing's been, we talked about that forever, right? We talked about that shit for like half a year straight, right? Breaking it down, new theories and ideas, picking apart every aspect of that trailer. So I can't imagine what we're going to do with a full-blown trailer. Plus just getting to see other aspects of the game and the story and locations, iconic locations from OGFF7, get an idea of maybe how far into the story we're going with like locations and things like that. There's a lot of possibilities with just what a second trailer can do, right? Plus new stuff, like teasing new shit, right? We obviously have the Zack stuff that was teased with this trailer. Like a second trailer could be maybe giving us a little more on what's happening with Zack in the story. like And having all the unanswered questions when it comes to the ending of Remake and also like episode remission and this trailer that we got when it comes to Zack and all the new elements potentially of the story. Like there's just so many unanswered questions. I think that's part of why everybody's just been anticipating another trailer. Anticipating this game in general, really. I think it'll be more or less a video, my dudes. It's probably longer of a video than it needs to be for the discussion, but I just kind of want to get my thoughts out there on this. Uh, I think it's fair to look for this event. I think it's fine to hop on the hype train. Maybe the train ain't got to start moving yet, but you can at least, you know, find a seat. <laughs> so, of course, pass off to you guys. What are your thoughts on this? We have an upcoming PlayStation Showcase that's supposed to show off massive games. It's supposed to be setting up the future of the PS5, the second phase of the PS5. It's happening really close to E3, right before the release of Final Fantasy 16, about half a year or so before the release of FF7 Rebirth. Is Rebirth finally going to be there? Are we finally going to get another look at this goddamn game? That's the video my dude. Subscribe to you guys. Our new social networks in the description below. Follow me on Twitter, Dash YT. That's it. Bye. Used to care what people thought. But now I care more. And nobody out here's got it figured out. So therefore, I've lost all hope of a happy ending. Depending on whether or not it's worth it. So insecure, no one's perfect. We spend it with no shame. We blow that. Like old train, we in here. Like low game, or leave it. Like old bang.